Hello, what's up? Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, June 2nd. We're live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My name is Nathan Gray, and you're watching Three Points. First off, let's get right into it. Earlier today in Manila, a lone gunman went on a, on a rampage in a Filipino casino, shooting people and setting gaming tables on fire, ultimately killing 35 people in what authorities believe was a botched robbery. Of the victims, 22 were guests at the casino and 13 were casino staff, many of which died because of it from a smoke inhalation. Uh, in addition, some 54 people were taken to nearby hospitals with serious injuries. And according to local police chief, the attacker retreated to a fifth floor hotel room where he set himself on fire and shot himself, but not without stealing 113 million pesos in poker chips first. Whoa. And next, moving right along, Standing Rock update yesterday. The notorious Dakota Access Pipeline began flowing oil through the 1,172 mile long pipe that transports the oil across four states, North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, and Illinois. The $3.7 billion project will move some 470,000 barrels of crude oil per day. At the peak, there were over 10,000 water protectors standing in the fight against Dapple. But progress on the construction was hurried along duly by Trump's executive orders and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers protecting the rights of corporations instead of American citizens. According to Dave Archibald, the chairman of the Standing Rock Sioux, quote, we will continue fighting the pipeline in court. Just because oil is flowing doesn't mean it can't be stopped. And lastly, yesterday in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Brazilian police seized some 60 assault rifles being smuggled in from Miami, Florida inside a shipment of swimming pool heaters at the cargo terminal, terminal of the Galeão International Airport. Four suspects have been arrested in connection to what is one of the largest seizures of assault weapons in Brazilian history. In Brazil, the guns are valued at one and a half million American dollars on the black market. That about finishes off the gore for today. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, you've been watching Three Boys.